morning, Dirt Ranger TJ. Just here on my morning hike at Crater Lake with the new Balturo. 65, just a little quick uh, video here and then um, I'll uh, add to it later on when I have a better chance. But uh, take a look at that. Hope you can see that. I'm at the top of Mount Scott here at 8,900 feet. Uh, decided to take my Balturo up here with about 45 pounds in it. I don't have my entire trail weight with me, but uh, I got most of the stuff that I normally carry. I also wanted to point out the sunglass thing here. It actually works really well for my camera. It doesn't bounce around at all and uh, keeps it nice right there one-handed so I can pop it off. Well, at least usually one handed when I need it and it's good to go I'm gonna do the rest of the video because there's a lot of features to go over on this thing I'm gonna do the rest of it uh, later on when I have the place to myself until then Dirt Ranger TJ here I'm doing a range review on the Balturo 65 from Gregory as you know, as a dirt ranger, we uh, get to test out gear from time to time, and today I'm at Crater Lake. I'm at the top of Mount Scott, about 8,500 feet. Took my pack today, not fully loaded, uh, so I got about 40 pounds in here. But with the uh, suspension system, it actually worked out really well. It's got a nice rubberized uh, back support there and good hip belts that are fully adjustable. Actually, there are way too many adjustments on this thing to even go over. But it is fully adjustable if your torso is a little bit longer than others. You know, it is a rucksack, so you can fit quite a few things in here. It's got your normal zippers up top. You can get a good amount of stuff up in these guys. There's one on either side. I don't have this fully packed, but if you did, it would actually come all the way up to here. It's got two nice little pull tabs, you grab this one and the one on the back and it opens up right away with a nice locking for the uh, for the cord there when you uh, have it tightened. And well, let's see what we got here. Oh, just my breakfast. Let me put that. Well, another good feature that I wanted to show you here before I get too far along. As you, all you backpackers know that when you're attached like this that you want to get to your first aid kit down at the bottom if you cut yourself or something. You don't want to have to dig everything out to get to it. So what's nice about this one is you just pop off the uh, standard style compression straps there. Zip this guy down and gets all your gear. Now I have mostly everything I need in here. I just don't have my my tent or my sleeping system. Decided I didn't need to bring that up with me. But that is one of my favorite features of this pack. It also has these nice compartments on the side which are super long and deep as well. Got my life straw, my flashlight in that one. And some bug spray on that side. Everything is uh, the same on both sides so it's nice you can balance your weight that way. And you have another patch pouch on the back side here keep my trail snacks and my map and my bear bags and all that kind of good stuff just in case you might need them. Try not to take everything in and out of this thing all the time so some things are always in there just in case I need them. But actually, that reminds me, I hit a, uh, a branch coming up here and this material, the ripstop style, didn't even, didn't even do anything to it. It's in great condition still. Like I said, there's too many features to go off on this video, but I did want to show another one here to you. It's got a normal water bladder system with the snap to hold it in. What's kind of cool about this is the whole system comes out 
And you've got an entire day pack, hydration pack. A little zipper there, little straps to put your stuff, and backpack straps with uh, nice breathable shoulder straps. So that's kind of a cool feature in case you don't want to take a full 40, 45 pound pack up a big mountain. But I chose to do that so I could show you that this thing can take a lot of weight and have no problem taking it. I've already done about 45 miles in the past four days and I used, used this pack for all but five of those miles. And it keeps getting better and better. I keep adjusting it as I go. It fits my body better each time. And uh, I'm super impressed with it. I'll go some, over some of the other features in my written part of this and uh, I'll show some, some uh, photos later on as well. Other than that, a very good pack from Gregory and I thank you very much for having the opportunity to uh, let me test it out. And remember, camp on dirt and go on down to Gregory.com and get yourself a Balturo 65. Here I am back at camp at Mazama Village. Just wanted to go over a few more features on the backpack, a little more up close, so you could see the quality that's put into this backpack. Again, this is the Balturo 65. Has the shot cord style hiking pole holders, but I ended up using mine for my tripod for my camera, and it held very well. It also has a stowable water bottle carrier that packs up right in nicely so it's not catching on anything and you can pull it right out when you need it. It also has a shot cord tightener to keep the water bottle in the carrier. When it comes to the backpack, it has a very nice suspension system and an internal frame. The hip belts as well as the uh, suspension is fully adjustable with adjustments to be made on the side, on the front, and in the rear as well as in the top just behind the uh, back brace there and it is also very breathable lots of adjustments on this backpack so you can get it to fit you just perfectly I'm just at the end of my week-long journey I did about 50 miles with this backpack through some of the uh, Diamond Peak Wilderness as well as the Crater Lake I'm very excited at how well this backpack worked and I'm very happy that Gregory and The Dirt gave me a chance to test this out. And I'd like to say if you're looking for a great backpack, a rucksack style to use for backpacking or any other use, this is a great backpack to use. And uh, I hope you all happy camping and good journeys along the way.